What should I do with this old couch? And this piece of plywood. And the razor. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Yeah. Let's make a couch sled. that up so I can see what I look like. Uh, so, got this couch, got this razor, turbo, turbo makes everything better, and this piece of plywood. I've seen people pull couches with their four wheelers and side by sides and trucks and shit, but nobody ever shows you how they made it work. I am going to make a sled Sort of. Like, I'm going to put plywood on the bottom so the couch just doesn't break apart. And that'll also give me a place to attach a rope or something. I'll leave a link in the video description of us doing it. Because I'll probably put this video up after. So, even though this is before, I'll put it after. Or something like that. But anyway, all of it's going to be fun. We're going to rip this down, I think, uh, a little bit. To, and I'm going to put, like, a little ramp on the front so why don't we just quit talking quit jabbering and get to it so the first thing I'm gonna do I guess is pull this black plastic shit off that way I can see the framework of the couch and see I'm gonna I'm a brace the bottom up with some 2 by 4s and stuff to make it last as long as possible that way it just doesn't break as soon as I try and pull it so Let's get to that, I guess. I, I've never done this before. Now that I got the bottom off of the couch, I can see how I'm going to brace it up. So I'm going to lay this piece of plywood over it first. Kind of mark out how it's going to be. I put each corner on a leg. Cut off the excess, and the excess is going to go to like a scoop in the front to keep it if it hits a little bit of dirt. I'm not sure if I should do it on the side or not yet, but I'll end up putting, you know, bracing in the middle and such. That way it should be sturdy. And then maybe I could even bolt some wheels on it, and if I do that, then I could even do it on the street. Um, I thought about a car's hood too. Still might do that one day, but that doesn't take much building, I guess. So. I think this blade is bad. I guess I need to try a sawzall instead. Look at all the smoke. Not good. <laughs> you guys want to know how smart I am? Chop saw. I'm over here trying to cut two by fours with a sawzall. There's a chop saw right there. Well, let's do it right this time. Much quicker. Also, don't make fun of me. I don't have a guard. It broke when well, I took it off. It wasn't me. So I cut these four pieces and what I'm gonna do is this structure here, I'm gonna screw it like that. And uh, that way it will give me somewhere to screw down the plywood right there. 
Maybe I'll uh, run a piece this way just to keep everything as stiff as possible. And I'll also have some that run this way so that the front of it will kind of, it'll kind of be like, have a lip like, you know, like that in the front. That way, if it hits a mound of dirt, it's not going to plow into it. Ideally, you know, it'll just ramp right over it. But we'll see. I mean, I don't really know. So now that I've got all the support little pieces that I want to do, I did have to add half inch plates underneath the original legs for the couch because they were just a hair too long. But let's get this piece of wood up there and see how good it looks. So I got all the cross bracing in. I've cut these pieces at a 45 degree angle, each one of them, and I've screwed it to the front. I'm gonna keep doing that because I don't have enough screws at the front, but I think hopefully that this will be enough to, you know, go over the obstacles. Now what I gotta figure out is if I should do it on the side too, because if I start slinging it, the side could dig in also. So, I got some pieces cut to do that. So we'll see, maybe I will. So I've cut three more pieces to go on the side and I'll screw this like that. And that should help, hopefully. Only time will tell though. But I think it's going pretty good. I'm pretty happy. Now it's time to test fit the main piece, see what it looks like. Well, I put this piece on here to brace it, but it is sticking up a little bit. Let me chop that off real quick. it's gonna work pretty good I want to cut this angle a little bit different but other than that I think that's gonna work pretty good I think that's all you need to see so that's that that is how you build a sled couch I do have to do a few more modifications I need to figure out where to attach the strap to pull it and obviously we're going to be pulling it with a 2018 Razor Turbo, so it should go pretty quick. I may even add some braces at the top of this skid plate, or scoop, or whatever you want to call this, or footrest, because it's a good place to put your feet instead of just dangling out in front of it. That way you don't run yourself over. But, all in all, I think it worked out fine. I found this couch on the side of the road. It had gotten wet from rain, so... It would have been picked up and thrown away anyway. Let me know what you think about this project. Let me know if I should have done anything different in the comment section below. Because you should always comment something, even if you're a dick. Just comment. Um, also, if you think this is a weird project, hit the like button. I don't know what else.
else to say. Tune in next time for something else. Any other crazy ideas, let me know. And I'll see you next time. Peace out.